today. Mm -hmm. Sana Aziz is here with us. Hey, girl, how Hello. you doing? Good, how are you? All right, you got some chocolate melting already, don't yes, you? Yes, we do. Yeah, what are we going to make today? We're going to make some chocolate truffles, um, a couple of different kinds that you can make. We're just going to do the basic chocolate ones. Um, any type of flavor you can add to it. I did some lemon, I did some mint, and then some with the cocoa powder, and the rest of them are just covered in sprinkles and chocolate. This is something I would never even <laughs> think about or try to do, and you say, what the chefs always say when they come in. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> is it easy? This one really is easy. I mean, there's there's very little that you can do to go wrong with it. Um, oh, well. the main, Trust me, I main might find a way. Yeah. <laughs> the main ingredients are heavy cream and the chocolate. We add a little butter just to smooth it out. And then any type of flavors that you want to add. I put some lemon zest in some, some peppermint and some other ones. Okay. Um, you can even use extract, some of the candy oils to flavor it. So you got Land Lakes Heavy Whipping Cream. Heavy Whipping Cream. And how much is in that little pot? There? I have about eight ounces in here. Uh -huh. And it's kind of one to two. So I have eight ounces of heavy cream here. Right. And then I have one pound of chocolate. I'm going to chop up the rest and put in here. So you just... Uh, and that's some, is that uh, dark chocolate? This is dark chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate. You can do milk chocolate, different amounts. Some of. jumped off there, so oh. I'll rescue it. Okay. All right, so the cream is, is on heat now? Is it is. It should okay. be warming up, and you want to get it just till um, it starts to boil. You okay. don't want it to boil. Just get the little bubbles around the edge. Now, do you have to be real careful with the heavy whipping cream not to overheat it or scorch it? Right. You don't want to walk away from it and leave it on. You just okay. kind of want to watch it. I'm staying um, with you <laughs> right here. And it'll, as it heats up, you'll start seeing the bubbles come around the yeah. edges of them. Um, once it's boiling, it's you want to turn the heat down. You don't want it boiling over. Okay. Um, it will just keep heating up. Okay. Once we get all of our... I'm going to move this guy away from me. <laughs> I'm going to put him over here. He's making me nervous. Okay. All right, so we have our pound of chocolate here. Okay. And all you do is you put your chocolate into the heavy cream. Watch and we're it starts to that. boil. Okay. And if you do a little more than a pound, it'd probably be okay. It could. This is one of those things where you don't have to measure exactly right. Yeah. Um, the only thing that's going to change is how... Um, the butter's a little hard. A little, it's a little cold out there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get it in this heavy cream, and that's going to help it melt. Okay. And if you want a stiffer truffle, then you just add more chocolate. Um, okay. If you want it looser, you just add a little less chocolate. It's the same as ganache, that the chocolate you pour over a dessert. Mm -hmm. um, if you want it that thin, then you would add more heavy cream than you would chocolate. Oh, and that's melting already, so that milk was warm. Mm -hmm. So once we get this melted, it, woo, gotcha. it splashes all over <laughs> you. <laughs> that's when you know it's ready. Yeah. But once you get this all melted, we're going to leave this, that and sit it on the low heat. Okay. Once you get it all melted, you end up getting um, a chocolate that's more like a cream. And what you want to do is just take, pour it into a bowl and let it kind of sit up, up in the refrigerator yeah. and it'll get pretty cold. Yeah. And once you get to that point, you kind of whip it a little bit to get some ear in it and that's how you get the kind of light and fluffy truffle. Now, can you hand whip that, or is that with a blender? Or I usually do it by hand, oh. just with the spatula. It doesn't oh, okay. take a whole lot. Um, mm -hmm. And again, depending on how light you want it, determines how much you spin it. You got it all oh. over here. <laughs> I don't want you to get your hair there. There you go. Okay, you're good. So once we get that, we put it back in the refrigerator and let it set up. And then we pull it out, and you have a stiffer chocolate. And this is the fun part. This is step three. This is, the, this is where everybody <laughs> likes to get their hands into the chocolate. Okay. You use these little scoops here, and you can scoop out balls of chocolate. And I usually just lay them on the mat I'm here. Sure. Yeah. And you can do them in different sizes. It don't have to be small or extra large. And yeah, you can get a bigger scoop if you want, like an ice cream scoop. Almost. Right. Yeah. And then that, that would be a sheer size truffle. <laughs> a sheer size? Yeah. So once you get some of them scooped here, if you want to put on a pair of gloves, because this gets kind of messy. Yeah, because you, and you're going to handle them. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to put some gloves on here. Can I do it for Absolutely. Oh, yeah, OK. Good. All right, so we get our gloves on, and then we get to play with them, right? Yes. Okay, good. We got our chocolate here melting. This is yeah, that's, that's one I can of see the things we're gonna. That one, yeah. It's gonna move it here, and we're just gonna let that melt. So uh, once you've got the scoops out, do you kind of roll them a little bit? Yep, you take back them and into you roll a, them into a ball. Into a ball? Yep. Okay, good. 
Oh, and just yeah. get them as, as much as you uh -oh. can into the I'm shape of the bowl. falling apart. I'll just press it back together. <laughs> it's pretty forgiving. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I noticed you did yours faster than that, <laughs> so maybe that was a trick. I'm going to okay. scoop a little so we can uh, okay. have a few more options here. I'm going to scoop some and let you shape some of them up, and then we'll see what we can do with the okay. different toppings. Hey, 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 rolly, 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 rolly. Okay. Good. I'm not, oh, that one looks pretty good, actually. All right, so, yeah, you're re-rolling that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this. That one actually turned out good. So, what's so we next? have a few no. different toppings here if you want to roll them in. We have some chocolate sprinkles, some cocoa powder, and then some Valentine's Day sprinkles. Uh -huh. And we're using um, the, the ones that are already rolled, no chocolate on them, and you can just put them in there and coat them. And it sticks pretty well to the so truffle. I'm just rolling in this yep. Valentine's dip here? Oh, okay. And then that's one of your assorted ones. Sometimes people like it with the cocoa powder. I'm going to get okay. back over here to the chocolate. Oh, look at that. That looks great. I'm going to roll this guy. He's, he's basically chocolate <laughs> up, isn't he? He's got a coat on there. Okay. And now one of the ones that I like doing is the ones that are dipped in chocolate. One way to start those off is, again, you get your hands into the chocolate. You're just going to take some chocolate, put it in your hand, and roll it into the chocolate. Oh, that's going to be so good. So that had some of the powdered chocolate on it, and then you put, you rolled some more chocolate on it. And you could do these j just straight from the, the bowl, just shape them and then put them in the chocolate. And at this point, you can either sprinkle some toppings on them or you can leave or them you just, can just like leave this. Them like that. Leave them just like that. And the little cups that they come in, can yeah. we find those at the store? You can. A lot of yeah. times you can find them at Walmart or in the yeah. little um, hobby stores. They usually have them, and these have the uh, little Valentine's decorations on them. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, son. You're welcome. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. Are you one more thing? Well, on? just they're the melting chocolates that you can use to dip the truffles into. Okay. No, no, trust me, it's good. <laughs> For more information on Sweet Creations Bakery, and we're going to post a link on our show website by early this afternoon, wtvr.com slash vtm. And we couldn't finish with Sweet without saying here's Nikki D. Ray. Oh, look at you. That <laughs> looks delicious.